Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? What would you like for your bald headed daughter? No. The G is silent. Oh my you want? You made my boobs itch. What up, y'all? Lisa Cole here to go is help you thrive. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about job shaming. A word that I kinda hate, but it is what it is. And why you shouldn't feel bad about not having a real job. Another word that I <laughs> Hey, if this is your first time viewing this place, my name is Aaliyah, and you should subscribe if you want to thrive. Oh, that rhyme! Now, but for real, I really do help people thrive, you know, in college, things outside of college, lifestyle stuff, topics like this type of video right here. So, for real, you should consider subscribing if you ain't all ready. Job shaming is shaming somebody because of their job. <laughs> That's, yeah. First of all, let's break it down. What exactly is a real job? As the masses would say, you know, society, they say that a real job is a job that not only provides security, but provides you with a salary-based income. In the mind of the ego, because this has everything just to do with ego. A real job is something that you would think somebody would have for people who went off to college, working as doctors and lawyers, or working in some type of corporate environment. So whether you are a high school graduate who doesn't plan on going to college and you're trying to figure out what are you gonna do as far as work, or if you're you know working right now, you don't necessarily have a real job, or if you're somebody who dropped out of high school, got your GED, didn't get your GED, working a fake job, or if you're somebody that went off to college, graduated, and you know society has this putting this pressure on you saying, no, you have to have a real job. Uh, but you know, getting that real job is not as easy as they said was kind of bad. So now you know you're stuck at this fake job. And whatever you, wherever you are in your journey, this video is for all my people out here working these fake jobs, but we making that real money. <laughs> now, just a disclaimer: I hate the word real job, and I don't want to use it in quotations this whole video. So I'm just gonna use it. Uh, please don't get offended. And if I use the word fake job, um, I'm just trying to make a point. So yeah, I don't need anybody working at Mickey D's to get in their feelings. So why you shouldn't feel bad about not having a real job? First things first is that people need money. Gotcha, Leah, that was so childish. Unfortunately, the biggest things that we need in this world, shelter, food, and clothing, you know, because it's illegal to walk around naked. We have to have money to get these things, and the only way that you can get money is by providing a service or your time in exchange for that money. So you're working so that you can make the money, so that you can buy yourself clothes to wear, so that you can pay your rent, keep your lights on, you know, get yourself water, some food, nutritious food. I'm not talking about going out to a fancy hibachi restaurant every freaking Friday night. I'm talking about food that you actually need for your body. Yeah. People also need money to support their desires, which is fine, depending on the type of lifestyle that you want for yourself, would depend on the type of money that you're gonna need to get for that type of lifestyle that you want. Some people's lifestyles are more lavish and inexpensive some are you know pretty simple neither one is better or worse than the other it's all about how you spend your money and if you know money you'll do well with money if you don't know money you're always gonna be broke now when it's just you it's a little bit more easy but then you know when a spouse and then children come in then it's not just you anymore now you're having to provide those needs and those wants for those other extra people in your life which is fine but Take that into consideration. In other words, it ain't about you no more. Which means that the money that you're making ain't just for you anymore. All right. Uh, ooh, he cute. Yeah, turn around. I was talking to you. He heard me. Yo, when I said that, like, he literally turned around and was looking back for, like, five whole seconds. There's no way he heard me, though, because my window's closed. <laughs> Wow. Another reason why you shouldn't feel bad about not having a real job because most of the time it is a temporary thing. Sometimes people find themselves in fake jobs because they are in between jobs. So they have to, you know, serve right after they get laid off because they got laid off and they need money to survive and them waiting tables is gonna bring in some money in the meantime. Or if you're an actor, whether you're up and coming or established acting anything with entertainment like that it's not always a guarantee for you to have a steady gig one minute you could be on a hit show for five years making good money and then not have any work for a year after that what are you going to do within that year if you're not getting any work 
Sit on your butt? No, because you have needs and desires that require money. Shelter food and clothing along with any desires that you may want that fits your lifestyle, whether it is lavish or whether it is simple. Another temporary thing is that you're gonna work this type of job until you can get the job that you actually want. So while you're working, you know, at freaking Whole Foods, you're trying to get it, you're applying for other jobs in the type of field that you really do wanna go in. Another thing that I wanna point out, which is something that is so ego driven. And it's the main reason why job shaming is a thing. No job is better than the next. Somebody over here that's sweeping floors and scrubbing toilets for $11 an hour isn't any less than a manager working in a corporate position for $85,000 a year. They're both making money so that they can support themselves and their family if they have one and do the things that they want within the type of lifestyle that they deserve. Yes, a job may pay more, a job may have better benefits, but to blatantly say that one job is better than the other, the act of working, working, the work ethic, to actually say that one job is better than the other is not true. We are all spiritual beings here having a human experience and to judge somebody off of the type of work that they do so that they can get the type of money that they need to provide for themselves, first of all, what any type of business is it of yours how i make my money but i digress it's all ego driven and the ego is a very dangerous thing which brings me to my last point which is that people love to define people by the labor that they do or what like think about it when you meet somebody and you you know you start talking to them and you know the question may come up is what do you do for a living Depending on the response that they give, that person's gonna have one or two reactions. They're either gonna be like, oh, you're a lawyer, what? Oh, yeah, so. Or they could be like, I work at Starbucks. Oh, as a matter of fact, I'm a manager at Starbucks. And they could just be like, ah, okay. Yes, I'm aware that most managers do have a salary-based income. Salary ranges, it can range from $20,000 a year to $100,000 a year. One is definitely lower than uh, the other, but again, it just depends on your situation. What type of jobs you're even able to get in the first place because a lot of things do hold us back from the type of jobs that we can even get, which is why college is a thing where you're like, oh, you go to college and you get a good job. Not necessarily the case. And then you have people who dropped out of high school, it's gonna be harder for them to get this type of job. Or people who've had issues with the law, is gonna be hard for them to get that type of job. But this, but society does have this idea that, oh, you go to college, oh, you're set. You're gonna be big, 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 bang. And I can attest for this as a college graduate, it's not always the case. There are lots of people who go to college, they graduate, and they do not, not even that they're not working in their field, but they're working minimum wage or not salary-based type of job. I started planning on making this video within the past week or so, and recently, over this Labor Day weekend, an actor, Jeffrey Owens, went viral after somebody had submitted a picture of him working at Trader Joe's bag and groceries. The intent of, you know, even taking this picture and sending it to a media outlet, and then the intent of the media outlet, Fox News, going in and how they wrote the article, pretty much job bashing him for the type of job that he's doing just because of his history of being a working actor on TV. Now he's working in Trader Joe's making 14 something dollars an hour. There's so many things wrong with that picture. One, like I mentioned before, acting, you're not always gonna be guaranteed a gig. There are gonna be times where you're not gonna be working. And if you're not working, you're just not gonna work? Or are you gonna find a way to make some type of income for the meantime. I would hope the latter. And just so you can get a little background on who Jeffrey Owens is, he is an actor who is best known for his role as Elvin on The Cosby Show, which was a long running, very good sitcom. And during the time, he probably was making, you know, 
a lot of money, you know, that fit him and his lifestyle and his needs to support himself and his family. And when shows go off air, they still get paid, you know, through royalties and things like that. I really don't know how all that's working out, you know, with the whole allegation of Cosby and all that stuff. But that's not what this video is about. So I don't know what his money is looking like, nor is it my business. So if the lack of royalties an aspect of it and him not having a steady acting job for the moment, him working at Trader Joe's making $14, $15 an hour, it makes sense why he's there. I mean, he's making money. And all those who are putting judging and shame onto the situation, it says a lot about them and their ego, making it seem like the points that I mentioned above. Oh, because you are on TV, you are above working at a grocery store. Just think about that. So you're saying somebody who is on TV, which everybody that's on TV is not famous, they're not celebrity, they're not rich. So you were on TV, you was on this hit sitcom, you was making this type of money. Because of that, you are so above the average person who works regular jobs. How sweet! If you enjoyed this video, make sure you turn that thumbs up. All right, Thrive Tribe, we are at the end of the video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I want you to go ahead and give it a thumbs up, all right? Please do. It really does help me out as I try to pursue this fake job called YouTube while I work my other fake job. Actually, I'm about to go ahead to a fake job interview, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to make that real money. Please, in the comment section below, share your thoughts and mingle with other people about this topic. Are you somebody who job shames or are you completely against it and do you just think it's just a whole ego trip thing? Please let me know in the comment section below.